Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 3 and in this video we're going to look at how we actually use jQuery. Wow. Alright then gang, so before we start diving into any code whatsoever or before I start waxing lyrical about how cool <laughs> jQuery is, I want to show you just a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to be using a text editor called Brackets for the entirety of this playlist. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because A, it's free, and B, it's really awesome. So, I suggest if you want to work along with me, you go ahead and download this too. All you need to do is go to brackets.io, then click this blue button right here. Completely free for Windows, completely free for Mac. Awesome. Next thing I want to show you is this repository that I've created. Now I'm going to start this playlist using some pre-existing code I've already written for a previous tutorial series. Now I've uploaded all of this code to this repository on GitHub right here. So if you want to come to this link, click this download zip button right there. You're going to download all those files to your computer in a zip folder. Unzip that, then load them into your text editor, whether it's brackets or something else, and we can work along together. So I'm going to leave the link to this repository in the description down below. Click that, download, then we can get to working with the code together. All right, so now we know how cool jQuery really is. We're going to download it and use it in our documents. So to do that, you want to go to jQuery.com forward slash download, and you're going to be confronted with a couple of different versions. Now there's jQuery 1 right here and jQuery 2 there. For this tutorial series, I'm going to use jQuery 1. It's slightly older, but it's completely accepted across all browsers, right? Now jQuery 2 has some additional features, but it doesn't support some of the older browsers. Now, considering this is a beginner's course, I'm just going to use jQuery 1 so we don't have to worry about those browser issues. And maybe in the future, we'll take a look at jQuery 2. I still use jQuery 1 for many of my projects. It still does some awesome things. So let's go ahead and download that one. There's two versions, production or development. Now for development, I always download this one. It's easier to debug. Uh, but when I put a website live, I always use this one because it's all compressed and the loading times are much lower when you use this one. So we're going to go ahead and download the development one since we're going to be working on our computer and nothing's going to be live on the internet. So go ahead and click that. It's going to download right here. I've downloaded it twice. You just do it once and then uh, I'll see you on the other side in our text editor. All right then guys, as you can see, I've got the website open right up here. We've got the HTML. We've also got a style.css file there. Uh, I've created this script folder already, and inside there, I've put the jQuery file that we've downloaded, and I've also created an empty JS file called script.js. So if you wanna do exactly the same as I've done there. Now, I wanna show you quickly what this looks like in a browser before we start. So I've already opened this up. And it looks like that, a very simple one page website. Now, I coded all this up in a previous tutorial series called PSD to HTML or something like that. And it's just gonna be there for us today in this tutorial series so that we have some content already loaded into the page that we can manipulate using jQuery. So I didn't design this, I downloaded it off the internet. Um, I'll leave a link to the design in the description down below if you wanna design, uh, download that and play around the design yourself, you can do. Otherwise, guys, let's get cracking and load that jQuery in. So how do we do it? Well, we just use our script tag like we would load any other JavaScript file in. A lot of people pop those up in the head. I prefer to put them right down here just before the closing body tag. And the reason is that way I ensure the rest of the page is passed by the browser before it starts to load in the JavaScript files. Because if I load the JavaScript files in first, it may delay, uh, delay the loading of the rest of the page. And it may upset the balance of things if I start binding events to elements that haven't yet loaded. Could cause some trouble. So just to be safe, I always load them in right here. All right. So let's open our script tag. Then we give it a source. And we're going to use this jQuery file right here. So we want to say it's in the scripts folder, forward slash. And it's recognized it right here, jQuery. All right, so now my friends, we can freely use jQuery in our other scripts. But when we use jQuery in our other scripts, the other scripts always have to be loaded in after this jQuery script, uh, script right here. And that's because we're using this script, okay? So if we put it before that, then it's got nothing to reference. 
once this is loaded, we can load in another one, and then it's got something to reference, yeah? So let's load in that blank one we created also. It's in our scripts folder again, forward slash script.js, and there we go. So now, my friends, we can put whatever code in this script file that we like using jQuery, and it's going to work. Pretty awesome, yeah? Let's just do a dead simple demonstration. Don't worry about the code that I'm writing here. Um, I'm going to go through all of this later on. Just going to do a simple function when the page is ready. And we're going to alert jQuery loaded. So let's save that. And now you can see we get that alert page jQuery loaded. Awesome. All right, so just before we start the next lesson, I just want to say this dollar sign here, this is like the hallmark of jQuery. Wherever you see this, more than likely, we're going to be using jQuery, and we're going to be talking about that in the next lesson. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and I'll see you in the next lesson.